Okay, now we're going to make the rig. Now, starting off with a default scene again, press 3 on the numpad and 5 in orthographic view, X to delete the cube, Shift A to add an armature, and tab into edit mode. Now, each this bone is about is um one blender unit high at the moment. Uh, we'll make the rug the rig approximately um, to scale, so we'll have the whole leg being uh, one blender unit as one meter high. E to extrude. E to extrude. E to extrude again. So you can see this is the basic leg, but I forgot to make the hip, so I'll shift D to duplicate this bone, G to grab, control to lock the move movement to the grid, and then that looks right. Uh, now, because we were extruding these bones, the parenting relationships of these will be correct, but for this bone it won't be correct because I duplicated it from this bone. So to make this the parent, I'll select the child first, then shift and select the parent and then press control P and uh, keep offset. Now this is the parent of the whole hierarchy. So now I'll name the bones. Press N to bring up the information box here. Then this is the hip. This is the thigh. This is the shin. This we're going to call the metatarsal bone or just the tarsal bone. Uh, we're reserving the name foot for another more important control that we'll create later on. This is the toe bone. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll press control tab to go into pose mode and take a look at the rig so far. Well, what we have here is uh, a forward kinematic system, but if you remember from the previous rig, which I'll show you just now, there was a control at the bottom here which allowed me when I grabbed it, it allowed me to place the entire foot. Now, we don't have that here uh, yet, so we need to create that. And the way we're going to create it is by first making a second hierarchy. Now, in the same way that this is a hierarchy traveling down the leg here, we're going to make a hierarchy which begins at the very base of the foot and then travels up through some control bones uh, through the toe, the tarsal bone, up to the ankle. Then, once we've created that second forward kinematics hierarchy, we're going to link this original hierarchy to the control hierarchy using inverse kinematic constraints. Again, if any of that didn't make sense, then don't worry because you're about to see exactly what it means. Now I'm going to go into edit mode and create those the, the second hierarchy that will be the control hierarchy. Shift D to duplicate, G to grab. Oops. G to grab. Um, Shift D, duplicate, G to grab. Shift D, duplicate, G to grab. Shift D, duplicate, G to, G to grab. G to grab again. G, Shift D, grab. Shift D, G to grab. I'm going to go press Z to go into wireframe mode. Uh, so I can see what's going on here. And Shift D to duplicate this bone again. I'll grab it and move it up a bit. Um, I'll just make it bigger than the other bone that's in the same position so that we can see it. See that the, the two bones are separate objects. Okay. That's all the bones we need for now. But uh, we need to name them. And hopefully this will give you some clue as to what they'll be used for. This is the foot to control. That's why I didn't call this bone foot, because this is going to be this was always going to be called foot. This is at the heel, it's called the heel. This was called the foot because it's the main foot control. This is being called the heel because it allows the foot to rotate up around the heel. This is the leg target. This is the tarsal target. Remember this is the tarsal bone and this is the tarsal target. This is going to be used to rotate the toe, so we'll call it rotate toe. This is the toe target. And this is going to be used to rotate the whole foot up around the tip of the toe, so we'll call it tip, tip toe. 
So now we have all the bones that we need, but we need to organize them into the proper hierarchy. So I'll do that now. Selecting the child and then the parent, and then pressing Control P, keep offset. Uh, again, child, then the parent, then Control P, keep offset. Both of these bones will be the child of the heel bone. Control P, keep offset. The heel bone will be the child of the tiptoe bone. Control P, and the tiptoe bone will be the child of the overall foot bone. Control P. Now we have to remember to um, clear the parent of this bone because this this bone is going to be the parent of the entire second hierarchy. So pressing Alt P to clear the parent, and that should be that. We'll take a look at this in pose mode now. Rotating the main foot control rotates all of those in the second hierarchy, moving the main foot control around, moves them all around. Um, rotating this lifts the um, leg target up around the ball of the foot. Rotating the tiptoe moves everything up around the tip of the toe. And uh, rotating the rotate toe bone ro just rotates the toe target there. So that's that's right so far. Obviously, it's not a ma um, affecting our main hierarchy. So to do that, we need to set up the IK constraints that will join the main hierarchy to the control hierarchy. So now I'll go ahead and do that. Selecting the leg, then going to the bone constraints panel, choosing add constraint and inverse kinematics. Now the target is the target bone will be inside the armature and the specific bone is the leg target and um, you can see here the chain length this chain length here is currently set to zero uh, blender takes that to mean automatic which means that it extends the chain all the way back up the hierarchy as far as it can go we don't want that we only want it to go one two bones back up the hierarchy so we'll choose that we'll set that to two we need to apply two more constraints, one to the tarsal, inverse kinematics, the target is in the armature, and the specific bone again is tarsal target. Notice how, because we've named these nicely, it's easy to select them from this list, tarsal target. And this chain length should only be one, and we also want to check chain follows rotation of target. Now the target we just set for this IK constraint is this bone here. And because this bone uh, was made as a duplicate of this bone, it's safe to select uh, chain follows rotation of target on this IK constraint. And that's why the target bones were all duplicated from the bones which uh, are using them as targets. Okay, just one more constraint to go on the toe this time. Add constraint, inverse kinematics. Um, uh, the target is in the armature and the bone is the toe target toe target the chain length again is just one and uh, we'll choose chain follows rotation of target again uh, this option when it's applied to this constraint and this constraint just make the rig a little bit more stable which is really good okay so now we have all of the controls that we need for this rig um, the uh, foot can rotate up around the ball of the foot, can rotate back around the heel of the foot, it can rotate up around the toe, and the toe can rotate around the ball as well. So that's great, but we just need to tidy the rig up and make it a little bit more animator friendly, and that's what we'll be doing in the next videos. See you soon.